our first time in North Dakota and our first time at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Our trail goes right past that big buffalo. Now this is a cool stop along the way. The National Park is basically broken down into two units. You have the southern unit and the northern unit. Our plan is the southern unit tonight, northern unit all day tomorrow, and then we'll wrap it up with the southern unit again the day after. So we have parts of three days here at Teddy Roosevelt National Park. Today is Thursday and our first hike will be the Petrified Forest Trail. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, our trail goes right past that big buffalo. What do you say, Kayla? Just don't get mad. Let's just keep some distance and go for it. We go off the trail. We go around in the grass. You're right there on the trail. Let's go this way. Don't make it mad. You don't have to warn me on that one. I've seen buffalo before in my other national park trips. We even saw some just yesterday at the Badlands. But every time I see a buffalo, I'm either in the car or within 20 yards from the car. Out here, we are all by ourselves and you feel rather unprotected. These are some big footprints and defenseless. And we gotta keep moving because we got a lot of hiking to do. And that sun is about to set. Which way do we go here? I think up here. This way. Alright, if you guys uh, come to Teddy Roosevelt, I highly recommend the Petrified Forest Trail. A lot of fun back there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. Wish we could spend more time, but the uh, sun is definitely setting now and uh, this place is teeming with wildlife and the only navigational aid we have is your cell phone so let's make our way back to the car and hit it before the sun gets all the way across the horizon all right we're back on level ground you can probably tell i'm out of breath there are definitely some steep uphill climbs on this trail the thing you got to be careful of as well if you come out here is it's easy, very easy to lose your way. So make sure you keep those markers in the uh, in your sights. And when you don't see one for a little while, backtrack and go find where you went off course. Because if you get lost out here, especially when it gets dark, it is a virtual maze and you will never find your way back. <laughs> What do you say we get some dinner at the saloon? Absolutely. How's that sound? Let's go check it out. Now if there's a bunch of cowboys in here drinking whiskey and gambling. We're going out as quick as we got in, all right? Sounds good. Let's see what they got. Oh, look at these doors. Is that cool or what, man? That's got the Western feel to it, doesn't it? I'm glad they serve our kind. 
<laughs> I don't know what that meant. What kind of animal is this again? Cow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. We're from New Jersey. You got to give us some like a big steer that, that you roped yourself and you you brought it down to the ground. This cow actually tried to try to kill him. So that's why he he shot it. Wait, that, no. That's a true story. That's it, it, is, it is. folks. If you're watching this, it that's is. a true story. Yeah, a true story. <laughs> so he shot. He, shot <laughs> he had to otherwise. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to mess with these guys out west, do you, huh? Don't be scared of that. <laughs> For your side, guys. Um, can I just have some fries? Fries, it is. Any lettuce, tomato, on you? No, thank you. So Kelly you couldn't talk you into the buffalo burger, huh? No thanks. Or the elk burger? Yeah. It's lean and healthy. Though. Very lean and healthy. It's just the psychological thought of eating buffalo or elk, you know? I'll stick with cow. I'm good. So, like, on our floor, I got everything. I actually have a bunch of stuff. No, I go in when I have That's good, man. It's good Western food. I'm delicious. It's good beef. You're on the Food Network again, then. <laughs> Boy, well, it is so dark out here, Kayla. Let's make sure we follow that GPS. We missed our turn once already. Ended up on the highway. Had to circle all the way back around. It added another 10 miles to our trip. We're looking for the state park. We were told that we can get showers at the state park since there's no showers at the national park. And this is not easy to find. Are you sure this is the right road? Showers. All right, Kayla. I don't think we're gonna find anything. There's an occasional camper we see back in the woods, but this place is pretty creepy. I don't want to ask anybody. I say we bail on this plan, get some showers in the morning. What do you say? Yeah. Let's go back to our campsite. Wow. Would you look at all those stars? Did you take a picture of the buffalo? She's taking yeah. it right now. Yeah, I took one. Here, I'll Kayla, it's a mystery. I don't know. We don't know what it was. All we know was Kayla was pulling little bugs off of her body. Little guys. And we just asked the ranger and he took a look. He saw some here on the car as well. And uh, uh, not familiar with what kind of bug that might be. But uh, poured some water over your head. Went through about four bottles and uh, doused ourselves and put our clothes in some plastic bags. And hopefully that'll keep the rest of our clothing items from being contaminated and infested with these little crazy bugs but uh, I think you're good now right hope so all right let's enjoy the rest of Teddy Roosevelt National Park all right sis you ready to go yep let's, let's go. do it we just entered the north unit of Teddy Roosevelt National Park and we we're gonna try a difficult hike right now Capra Cule. Difficult as in distance, but really difficult as in time of the day. One o'clock, and it is really hot. So, got your water, Kayla? Yep. Got your sunscreen? Yep. I got your sunscreen in my backpack. Finish your banana? Yep. Let's go. So, that's a cap rock. And that's a coolie. So, Kayla, do you know that bison can weigh 2,000 pounds? That's a ton. And they can run 30 miles an hour. That is three times faster than the average person. Well, I'm not an average person. You're a track star, so we'll give you... Maybe two times. They can outrun you twice as fast. Either way, they're still going to get you. <laughs> That's probably faster than you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I think she's challenging me to a race right now. like these hills and have a good feeling this is not the last one 
still melting out here. This trail is really kicking us in the teeth. It's really hot, but it's also a series of ups and downs that meander through this valley. We're at the top of another point in the valley, and the view is spectacular, and it's definitely worth the climb. I'm gonna show it to you right now. They call them badlands out here as well. And we are right now probably at the highest point of this trail. You can see off to my left, a cliff that drops straight down going that way. And then on the other side of the peak, off to my right, another cliff as well. Sure is beautiful out here. So when you think of the national parks, two predominant people come to mind. One would be the average Joe, that would be John Muir, big conservationist. And the other one is a politician named Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt used to hang out here quite often. It was a love of his. He did a lot of ranching and hunting. And then in 1947, they named this park in memory of him about three decades or so after he passed away. about three tenths of a mile left on this trail and it seems like the entire four miles we've done so far has been nothing but uphill so I'm assuming there's an elevator at the end probably a cold elevator with some Gatorades on ice and nice showers as well to cool off and refresh yourself in a sweet air conditioned environment. That'd be nice. You can tell what's on my mind right now. Oh man, let's finish things up. Let's go. That's the road way down there. We only have about two tenths of a mile to go. So there's no elevators, but it will be a steep descent to return to the trailhead. <music> What do you got there, Kayla? Got some true moo. Chocolate <laughs> milk. Some good stuff. You know what? I like your idea so much. <laughs> I helped myself to a bottle as well. <laughs> Along with the Charleston chew. Oh, All right. It's good. It's good. We got one more day of Teddy Roosevelt. Gonna head back to the campsite, get some sleep, and do it all over again. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> I'm not ready now. Nah. But I'll be ready in about eight maybe, hours Maybe now. after my chocolate milk. <laughs> it's in the spot, isn't it? Oh, that tastes good. <laughs> All right, good morning. This is our last day here at Teddy Roosevelt National Park. We have been staying in the southern unit for two nights. It was pretty cool. Yesterday morning, we got to wake up to a big bison that was in that meadow just across from our tent. Let me just tell you a little bit about the campsite that we stayed at. Uh, not bad uh, as far as disadvantages go. The bathrooms are right there, which is an advantage, very close, but the disadvantage would be they're kind of stinky, they don't smell too good, and they don't have any showers. So we definitely need some upgrade, upgrades in the bathroom uh, department here at this national park. Uh, but the, the car is fairly accessible to the tent. Uh, there are two water spigots very close to our campground. And today we're going to do the scenic loop, which is here in the southern unit. So uh, come on along with us. We'll show you some footage of that trip right now. Let's go.
Today, in the midst of this wind, we are going to debut our new shirts that Kayla picked out for us. You like these? America's Parks. The merchandise is now available. Think the viewers would like one of these? Oh yeah, let us know. Set you up. All right, lunch at the Cowboy Cafe, Kayla. <laughs> I keep sneezing God bless you. in the sun. <laughs> Good stuff. Time to move on from Teddy Roosevelt National Park. Any disadvantages, any negatives of this place? Um, it's really pretty, but you know, you see kind of the same thing. You see it once and then you see that view everywhere you go, you know, so not a lot of variety, but it's still really pretty here. Yeah, I'd say, um, as I mentioned earlier, the bathrooms could use an upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> They're still operating out of the 1940s when this park was first established. Showers would be nice. Showers would be nice. And uh, the location, I mean, it's obviously nobody's fault, but it is a hike to get here. And there's not a lot of national park uh, attractions right up here in this area. So um, there's really nothing on the way. If you come to this park, you're coming because you want to come to this place. How about positives? What'd you like? Um, a ton of wildlife. Everything, you know, is what do we see? Like we saw a bunch of horses, buffalo, um, bald eagles. We didn't see, but didn't they're see. here. <laughs> uh, so that was cool. Yeah. I think um, the definitely a beautiful park. Definitely a beautiful park. And uh, I think another positive is that since so few people come here, you're not battling crowds. Yeah. Uh, it really, we for the most part, had the whole place to ourselves. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we appreciate you being part of this family and we hope that you're enjoying these uh, video logs as much as we are in making them. May God bless you.